hello guys, it's Nerea Carrion here, I'm international speaker, I work at the Happy World Company as you see, and I'm going to be at the online prosperity TV show, exciting, watch me. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've brought you the international speaker herself, Neria. Neria, how are you doing, my love? Hello, I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You know, I've been following you for quite a while now and I've noticed that you're actually living your passion and actually passion is your living. You've been going around speaking and uh, acting and modeling while you're also helping people to overcome their biggest fears to actually really clarify what they want in life and to build their own confidence so it is something that a lot of business people are lacking and i'm really really excited to introduce you to the show today because you're going to help us with the clarity and also eliminate our fears tell us a little bit about yourself there uh, Neria and how you got started before we, we, we dive in with the real stuff. Great. So uh, here now, like what I'm going to say might sound a little bit like, are you serious? But I was extremely shy person and extremely insecure and extremely like, you know, when people is not able to ask for the time when they need it or like if you're thirsty as hell, you need to drink water, you cannot ask for water, you will die before you ask. So that was me a few years ago. And you see, I had to do something about it. And I think it, like in personal development and you know, this industry, for me, what, what really, uh, when things make sense is when you have experienced change. So for me, I, I, I dedicate my life to this because I've experienced a massive change in myself. And it sounds really crazy when I tell people I was insecure, I was shy, I was not able to speak because now, you know, you see me all over the place and all that. But I have gone through the hard way or like I've gone, you know, I had to work really, really hard to, to be where I am now. And I seriously believe that if I can do the changes I've made in myself, in my personality, in my confidence, I really, truly, fully, 100% like believe that everyone can. And that's why for me, this is almost like a mission. You know, when you have, an, you have, an, you have experienced a big, big change, you just want to share it. It's like when you buy something you like, you want to tell people about it. So I feel the same. Coaching for me has helped me massively. Uh, speakers, you know, speakers have inspired me, have changed my life. So I just believe in this so badly that I just need to keep passing the word. So that's, that's why I, I do this. How I started this is a long story, really, but I'm just going to say that I was in finance in one of the biggest co co uh, brokers companies in the world. And even though it was a great job, I was traveling Europe, you know, first class, everything, you know, all really, really cool corporate world, like, but really cool job. Like, it was actually really fun. Uh, but then, you know, I was hanging out with people that had more than an average of the population in terms of money, resources. And really, they were not smiling a lot. And I think that was a bit shocking for me because I was so grateful about my life, about what I had. I, I found one of the best jobs, you know, I could ever find in, in the city of London. Like, it was so cool that I couldn't believe it because I'm coming from a very poor, poor family. It was a completely different reality. And I was there and I was like, oh my God, I've done this myself through like building my confidence. So by being there, I was like, something is not right here like people your attitude is wrong <laughs> it's like i was like ah because like i knew that that of course like we all can we can all be unhappy and complaining and and you know like all this like you you can get the, the wrong habits you can but i believe that you can change it you know through through different habits through attitude so i used to tell my colleagues you know you can be happy just by making the decision and they will just look at me like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, what are you talking about? And I think that's what made me start the Happy World Company. And because I was like, people is not happy. They don't know how to be happy. They, you know, I believe happiness can be learned, you know, because it's an attitude. You have to be proactive on it. You cannot just wait for happiness to arrive to you because it's just not, you know. 
it might happen to some people, but it's not, you know, the norm. So, so that's, that's why I started and that's how I started as well. I started by quitting my job and then, you know, taking massive action and starting my own workshops, offering my coaching services, etc. Absolutely. Thank you so much for elaborating that um, part of your, your, your journey there. Now, you know, Neria, there's uh, something that you mentioned earlier on, as in you were a very shy person uh, to start mm-hmm. off with, and then you broke that pattern, and now you're this, um, you know, international speaker, and, you know, everybody really wants to, to be on your shores or in your web your workshops. Was it fear that was stopping you from moving forward or what was it really that um, was, you know, causing or contributing to, um, you know, that uh, yeah. shyness that you had there? Well, I think I never, you know, I, I had this tendency of always comparing myself, you know, with everybody. And I will only compare myself to the bad, meaning that I will see the good in everyone, but I will then see the good in me and I will then automatically put myself lower than everyone else, like, like, like all the time. And I think it came from the fact that when I was going to school, I didn't have father. Uh, I was quite poor, like, in, you know, poor to the point that someone I couldn't bring a sandwich to school. I didn't have electricity at home for, for 10 years. So I think I, al- I was always inferior in reality. I was there. So I think maybe it was genetics. I don't know. Like I was already shy, but then all these things didn't help me. I was always still, you know, putting myself inferior because I was going to school where everyone had so much money. My mom decided to put me in a really amazing school. It was very modern. She spent all her money in that, but we didn't have light at home. So it's like, you know, there was a lot of, my mom is is a really amazing person, but like she had really different values than most of the population in the world, really. So she prioritized education and she didn't give a fuck about electricity. (laughs) So it was like... Oh, but for me, it was really uncomfortable, really pain because I was not being able to share, you know, TV stories or like, you know, very common or study in the night like everyone else with the light or, you know, I had to put candles. It was really, really difficult for me, like to survive in this society in different conditions. So I think that was... Like maybe if I had been in a in a poor country, I would be like amazing. But as as I was in a here, you know, in Spain, it was just really really tough for me. Like I didn't really take ownership of my life. I was like victim. I was like, oh, I don't have this, or I don't have that. And I was twelve, ten. Like I didn't really have awareness that I could actually change myself or anything. So I was just being a victim at all times. And I think is. Of course, fear as well, what you mentioned is like afraid of, I don't know, afraid of of being seen, you know, because you have all these insecurities and you don't want people to see them. So it's all like hiding, you know, a little bit like, so I really, I think it was shyness that perhaps is, you know, some kids are shy, some kids are not, and it's just natural for them. It's just kind of genetics, I would say, but then there is these other conditions around you which determine how you feel and which, you know, obviously kids compare themselves and it's very, very tough when you are surrounded with kids that they, they are not nice, basically. <laughs> like, you know, they, they were not nice with me. They were bullying me and I had all these problems. So, I don't know. I think that's, that's probably why, I think. Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> obviously, that would have put you in a position where you would have lacked confidence and you would have not, you know, been really living a full life, even though you were in a good school, but you were not really, um, you know, a confident student because you had nothing to contribute to, um, you know, the friends that were there. Obviously that's superficial, but, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things. How important is confidence really in somebody's life and especially in the position that you now are in um internationally speaking in crowds that you are not aware of and you know given five six years ago you were not able to be doing the same thing Mm. i think confidence is really like and you know some people is yeah but you don't have to always be really confident but i think because people confuse confidence with uh with being loud you know or being a 
being loud or being like really like arrogant or something like confidence you can be shy and be confident about being shy for me confidence is much deeper than that confidence is accepting where you are accepting even if you don't like yourself or you're still shy i don't think i could have worked in myself without accepting fully i was shy and respecting i was shy because the respect i think the the, the aspect of respect is very very important uh, confidence for me is an acceptance of yourself first and then if you want to be yeah loud or body language you know then you can practice obviously you know all this stuff uh, that we you know i teach in the workshops and you can obviously help yourself to you know to feel more confident inside by using your body your tone of voice blah 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 but really it comes from a the, you know it comes from inside it comes from yourself accepting the fact that you are not confident and someone that is not confident but is confident about not being confident is much more confident than someone that is not confident about not being confident if that makes sense and i think it's very very important to be confident and that's why i dedicate my life to it because i see that i see how many how people like i'm able to believe in you more than you what you believe in yourself and this is mental i'm like but but i was there so that's why i understand it and when i've been into interviews or oh, when all the time when you present yourself to someone when you talk to someone it's like it's not even for yourself it's great to feel confident and comfortable with yourself but when you do that everyone around you feel the same and they feel that they can be themselves they can express themselves and that is a beautiful feeling you know like when you can allow others to feel okay with themselves and that only comes like it's much easier to make it happen when you feel good as well so i would say to people like don't do it for yourself but do it for the world the world needs to see you how you are and to see you calm about it like to accept that like whatever that is it doesn't matter if you are the worst at something or if you are not the best at something it's okay like it's almost like it's fine like accept it so you can learn great stuff thank you so much for that now um <clears throat> neria when you were traveling um you know during your corporate work days and um you were in the company of those people that you said had it all but they were not smiling at all. Is that the reason why you went on and created the Happy World Company? That's one of the main reasons. I think that was the main, right? I mean, the main is my own change. Then the second was definitely, I mean, I said they didn't smile. There was people that love the job and they smile, okay? Just for those who are watching me now, <laughs> I know that, you know, everyone was the same, right? I'm just always talking about the majority or, you know, what didn't make sense to me. But that, that was one, definitely one of the reasons. Uh, another reason is because I see some of my friends stuck, you know, and I feel like, ah, this is not right either. Like, you know, I see lots of things. I think another very big reason, two more reasons is, one is, you know, when you see things you don't like in the world, you know, when I was two year old, six year old, sorry, I used to ask, I mean, my most popular wish was to see to see the world, uh, to have peace in the world, to, to, you know, to not have any wars and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I started to think about it at some point. I came back to that dream or to that wish. And I was like, <laughs> you know, my mom used to tell me, don't you want any gifts? I was like, no, no, just, just peace in the world. You know, I was so freaking <laughs> like, like, she was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, just ask me for gifts. But like, anyway, I was like, um, mm, coming back to that thought, and I thought, okay, so if I want peace in the world, yeah, I could go and talk to the governments. I could do this, I could do that. But you see, like, I think it's people. When, it, when everything lands, when everything starts, it's in people's heads, it's in people's minds. So I just thought that working on people's minds and helping people to change their attitude for the better, to be better person, people, to be happier with themselves, to, you know, encourage them to do great, to do, to do good things. I thought that would be the best, most practical or useful or smart way to do it. Because, you know, trying to change the world, I find this really exhausting. Like, but try, but like inspiring one person, another person, at least I feel right. I feel like I'm doing something. I'm not just like complaining about the world, but I'm actually taking some initiative to help, you know, others or something. So that's another reason 
And the last one I was going to mention is just, I just, I'm, I love it. I really enjoy this, <laughs> you know, like, and I always dream with having a job that I enjoy. So it's like, I, I really am so grateful. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I don't get it. When people pay me for this, I'm like, thanks guys. Like, it's making my life <laughs> Absolutely. You're actually living your life with passion there. Tell, tell us a little bit about the happy world and what actually happens in the workshops, the seminars and your travel around the world. <clears throat> Uh, well, so the Happy World Company vision is we're going to be running workshops around the world. Not me, but other coaches as well, other trainers. So really, like the Happy World Company concept is a very creative concept where we mix we mixed things. Like, for example, um, there is a workshop called Post, Photoshoot and Self-Esteem, where people come, they have a photo shoot, but there is workshop in the morning, workshop in the lunch time. So it's always like a very, we always go deep, to be honest. Like we always go into the, into what people are struggling with. But then we combine this with photography, sometimes makeup, sometimes it can be clothes, sometimes, uh, well, we, of course, we do public speaking, you know, all this other stuff neurolinguistic programming but what i'm what i'm aiming to do because i get bored very easily and you know these seminars sometimes make me so bored when i go and attend i'm like oh my god so i'm just making them much like fresh you know like fun for people so they don't feel they are just studying stuff they are actually they growing but they're having fun they're learning a new skill you know they, so that's 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 the happy world company absolutely i can actually see um, you know, the reason why it's important for people to actually uh, view themselves because people internally see themselves in the negative. People don't see good about themselves. So if you show them a version of themselves that they have never seen, that might, um, you know, help them with, with their growth and um, with the way that they perceive themselves in order for them to uh, make sure that their environment is actually perfect. So how can people uh, be a part of this um, uh, seminars or courses or do you have a website that people can go on to so they can get to find out more about yourself yes definitely so there's two websites one is the happy world company website so it's the, the happy world company uh, at the moment there's an event in london if you're in london if you're not in london <clears throat> there is few online courses that i that i've uh, launched recently one is called live life your way live life on your terms so for everyone that is watching this one, I'm going to give you a link if that's okay. Yes. And you know, you can, you can give it to them and it's, you know, it's going to be discounted for you guys. So it's 200 pounds, but it's going to be, you know, around 30 just because of this, uh, amazing interview. So Thank you so much. <laughs> that is making this. Happen. So it will be spe special discount for you. I will put Australia or like the name of the program. Exactly. Whatever. Thank you. And it's all about how you can live a life that is aligned with yourself. You know, like, you know, when you feel right, like you, it, I don't know if, if you guys have ever been there, but sometimes you do things that feel really right. Sometimes you do things and your mind is like, nah, you shouldn't be doing this. Why are you doing that? You know, the monkey. Yeah. So it's to help you to be, you know, to not, go too far from that place of feeling right or to like help you to start going there because some people people are so far away from it that they have to start somewhere so i'll give you a little guide on how to how to start you know focusing in that energy that you've got and no one else's half so um what else i was saying oh yeah and the yeah um happy world company there is lots of things happening i went to australia to do a talk uh, like uh, last summer to Adelaide so hopefully I will be you know coming soon <laughs> who knows um, and then Nerea carry on you can find you know resources free resources podcasts you can find lots of different things blog so just just visit both and enjoy them <laughs> absolutely well thank you so much thank for that I'm just gonna ask you one last thing obviously you you do seem to be an authentic person you do seem to have authenticity written all over you um in the way you do your things even the way your website is written you're just like you know what what you see is what you get come and talk to me if that's um what you want and i that really drew me um you know to you without the whole corporate or oh, yes fill in this form or you know what i mean what people yeah. think 
um, you know, it's the way that things are supposed to be. How important really is to present your authentic self to the people that you're going to be dealing with or to the people you're going to be doing business with? Mm. For me, one of the most important things or the most important, you see, when I quit my job in finance, in finance, I had to pretend a lot. Like, you know, you have to go with heels every day with, you know, your suit. And I was still being quite different than everyone else. Like I was still trying to show myself as I was and like being authentic. But it was sometimes it was really difficult because no one was. So like you're like quite weird around them. So it was like, okay. Um, they would, you know, tend to tell me, Nerea, you, sh you can't do that. Nerea, you shouldn't do this. Nerea. And you see, when I quit, I was like, Look, my f one of my first goals is going to be to be myself. If I don't get any clients, that's fine. I don't deserve them, that's fine. I don't care. I don't, you know, and it's unbelievable how well it's working because some of the, you know, some very big companies like the Catalan or Google, they contacted me only because they said they love my authenticity. They love how honest I am. They love my energy. They love my vibe. And I really, I tell you this not like to, hey guys, and no, it's, it's almost like I was shocked myself because, you know, if you see my Facebook, it's very honest. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I'm not like the typical coach that is perfect and, and her life is great. No, I'm like, guys, this is great. I'm very good at this. I'm shit at this. And I'm very honest because I believe in, in being real. That's what I want people to be. I don't want my clients to be fake or to pretend that they are cool or that they know more than what they know. They can do it if they want to, but I'm never going to encourage them to do that because I don't believe in that. For me, life should be real. What's the freaking point? Like to fake it. So I really thought, I really gave up on getting clients if I was not able to by being myself. And that was, that was my, that was my goal. You know what I mean? I was like, I made the decision. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be myself. If I attract some people or if, if people want to talk to me or they want me to coach them, they know who they, they know what they're going to get. They know me. I'm naked in front of them. This is me. <laughs> like, you know, this is it. So I prefer that. I really do. And lots of mentors, lots of people, business people is telling me, oh, you shouldn't do that. You should not be that crazy because, you know, you're a coach. I was like, look, if I don't have to be a coach, I will not be a coach. It's simple but I am doing what I am. It's like, this is, so I don't have to stress. I don't have to plan it. I don't have to bother. I just, I'm just me. It's like, hey, hi, it's me, hi. You know, so. Yeah. Absolutely, because if you try to be somebody you're not, you will, you will run short. Now, obviously, um, you know, people in the audience right now, you're watching this and you can tell that, you know, Neria genuinely cares about everybody who comes um, either to her workshops or she really welcomes everybody with open arms. She's given us her time. She's given us her value and also offered us an opportunity to join one of her courses at a discount. I will be putting in the details at the bottom there. And she just has an abundance of enthusiasm and energy as you can all see. It is all aimed at helping you, um, you know, lift you out of your comfort zone because, you know, nothing really ever grows there in the comfort zone. Am I right uh, there, uh, Neria? Oh, yeah. Like, if there's one thing I can remind you or, like, advise you on is push your comfort zone as much as you can all the time, every day. Not, not once in a while. No, no, every single day. And, you know, I'll t like, very easy ways to do it. Be honest. <laughs> like, be honest. Be vulnerable. Be open. That is uncomfortable, trust me. That's already a good way to go. And it's everyday, daily life with your friends, with your family. Be open with them. Tell them what you think. Not what you think is right to say, but what you think. That works. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely. So as, as I was saying um, earlier on, Neria really is living her passion and passion really is her living right there and you, so you can tell she can actually help people overcome their biggest fears because she did that in her own life right there and she can really clarify um what people want in their life and help them build their confidence now neria i can't thank you enough for your time your expertise and your knowledge and also for the little gifts that you have offered us uh, to join one of your courses there is there any last words that you can uh, part with um, so that people get to really get a feel of what really living in your passion is and what, you know, passion living is all about. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna say, do what excites you. That's that's powerful. <laughs> that's powerful. Thank you so much, Daenerya. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for listening as well. Bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you.